John 5, let's go to 35. It says, John was what a lamb that burned and gave light. And you chose for a time to enjoy his light. What was the light of John? The light of John was that what? He came to tell them that salvation is right here. In John 1, I believe 29, when Jesus was passing, what did he say? He says, look, or oh, behold, the Lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world. Yes. So that is the light. The light of John is also that what? his ministry was centered on what? Repentance. So he came to preach repentance. That must be some argument. We see can't even find quite him in David, David. O Papa, you can't even find quite. It is him to my wife, fear him. We can't even find more than cause of your Jewish in David. Yeah. So John came to preach repentance, and that's one thing all of us must know. You know already, but let me highlight it. When we say repentance, it's not just repentance from your sin. You can't. Repentance is whatever you think can give you salvation. It's wrong if that thing is not Jesus. That's repentance. So you change your mind from that. Because what the poor man will repent from will be different from what the rich man will repent from. The rich man is so rich that he trusts in his riches. The poor man is so poor that all he thinks of is himself. They are both wrong. That's self-centeredness. That cannot bring you salvation. Neither can riches bring the rich man salvation. So both the poor and the rich, they need to change their mind. If they want their soul to be saved in the afterlife, they need the grace of God through Jesus Christ. And that was the ministry of John. Yes. He says, but the testimony that I have is greater than that of John. For the works that the Father has given me to accomplish, the very works that I am doing bear witness about me that the Father has sent me. So by here, Jesus is making the contrast that my ministry is, is, is superior than that of John. There is no ministry as a matter of truth that can equate to that of Jesus. No ministry. That's what John himself said. He said, this man, I came before him, but he was before me. What paradox is this? How can you come before your father? What he's saying is, though you see this man in the flesh, he is the true God. <laughs> don't, don't, don't look at him only in the flesh, you miss it. Perceive him in the spirit and you know that he is the great that I am. That's what he's saying. He says, I'm not even worthy to stoop down, to, to bend down and untie his sandals. Yes. He says, my ministry must decrease whilst his increases. That is why you have some of John's uh, disciples who later became what, the disciples of Jesus. These things are not just stories. You are to hear. They are to change your life. What does it mean? It means, Adiebiya wu yebiya no. Osa wu huna muwe no. Eko fom. Ma yesu no wo mu no. Opeja. John says, my ministry must decrease and that of Christ in me must increase. That same thing. There is nothing you read in scripture that is just a story that ends in the story. No. The word of God is life. It's active. It's sharper than a two-edged sword. It's alive. It means you obey it. You allow God to manifest that same thing in you. As all your soul now we are sorry and whatever. You don't preach yourself. You don't put your pictures in the church. You are, not, you, you are not the reason why people come to the church. No, Jesus is. So you must what? The purpose of your preaching, as you see me many times, is I preach Jesus and I take myself out. I preach to you to the point that what? Tomorrow I will not be of any use to you if you are paying attention ever since you joined. Anybody who preaches to you, who always wants to be around you before you can take a step, such person is magnifying themselves instead of Christ. We, in anything you do, whether in your marriage, whether in your school, whether in your business, you should always sort of have one aim. That is to uplift Christ. That anybody sees your business, they see Jesus. They see your marriage, they see Jesus. 
The more they see Jesus, the more they see less of you. Less is what you and I inherited from Adam. That is full of sin. That is full of envy. That is full of negativity. That is full of jealousy. That is full of unforgiveness. So when you see or you hear John say, I must decrease and he must increase, how you apply it is that what the works of the flesh in your life, in your marriage, in your business, in everything that you do, should be seen decreasing. What now in your butre, Sisia no bimu say, hey, what's the sound? What now for Boniche? On for Boniche? You are so quick now to forgive. It means you are decreasing whilst Jesus is increasing. See, a kind seminar, see, and see, I see, yeah. And friendship, I'm right.